Welcome to our rocks. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are going to be looking inside the book of uh, Mark, Mark chapter 6 today. And um, we're going to actually, I'm going to play the audio today. Um, I'm going to play the, be playing the audio, the audio version of Mark chapter 6 today. So um, bear with me uh, as I get the audio version of Mark chapter 6 uh, together. So, uh, oh. Wait, um, I have it. All right, so here we go. Mark chapter 6. Here we go. Chapter 6. Jesus left there and went to his hometown, accompanied by his disciples. When the Sabbath came, he began to teach in the synagogue, and many who heard him were amazed. Where did this man get these things? They asked. What's this wisdom that has been given him? What are these remarkable miracles he is performing? Isn't this the carpenter? Isn't this Mary's son and the brother of James, Joseph, Judas, and Simon? Are the sisters here with us? And they took offense at him. So right now we're talking about uh, a prophet without honor. And um, and um, this goes from uh, verses 1 through um, 6. So, uh, yeah, so just please... Yeah, so this goes from 1 to 3 to 6, so, all right, so just uh, continue listening from 4 to 6. Jesus said to them, a prophet is not without honor, except in his own town, among his relatives, and in his own home. He could not do any miracles there, except lay his hands on a few sick people and heal them. He was amazed at their lack of faith. Wow, he was amazed at their lack of faith. Well, now from verse um, 7 through to uh, verse 13, we're talking about Jesus sending out the 12 disciples. Um, so let's listen. Then Jesus went around teaching from village to village. Calling the 12 to him, he began to send them out two by two and gave them authority over impure spirits. These were his instructions. Take nothing for the journey except a staff, no bread, no bag, no money in your belts. Wear sandals, but not an extra shirt. Whenever you enter a house, stay there until you leave that town. And if any place will not welcome you or listen to you, leave that place and shake the dust off your feet as a testimony against them. They went out and preached that people should repent. They drove out many demons and anointed many sick people with oil and healed them. Wow, so then they um, anointed many sick people with oil and healed them. Um, that's what we do in churches, uh, is we anoint people with oil, with oil, and um, we heal them. Um, so now from verse 14 to, um, from verse 14 to verse... To the end. No, sorry. Verse 14 to verse 44. We're going to be talking about... We're, we talk about John the Baptist. Wait, sorry. No. Sorry. Verse 14 to verse 29. We talk about John the Baptist beheaded. So John the Baptist beheaded. Um, so it says in uh, John at verse 14. Uh, it's at the words, King Herod. King Herod heard about this for Jesus, for Jesus' name had become... Well known. So that's where we are. Chapter 6. King Herod heard about this, for Jesus' name had become well known. Some were saying, John the Baptist has been raised from the dead, and that is why miraculous powers are at work in him. Others said, He is Elijah. And still others claimed, He is a prophet, like one of the prophets of long ago. But when Herod heard this, he said, John, whom I beheaded, has been raised from the dead. For Herod himself had given orders to have John arrested, and he had him bound and put in prison. He did this because of Herodias, his brother Philip's wife, whom he had married. For John had been saying to Herod, It is not lawful for you to have your brother's wife. So Herodias nursed a grudge against John and wanted to kill him, but she was not able to 
because Herod feared John and protected him, knowing him to be a righteous and holy man. When Herod heard John, he was greatly puzzled, yet he liked to listen to him. Finally, the opportune time came. On his birthday, Herod gave a banquet for his high officials and military commanders and the leading men of Galilee. When the daughter of Herodias came in and danced, she pleased Herod and his dinner guests. The king said to the girl, Ask me for anything you want, and I'll give it to you. And he promised her with an oath, Whatever you ask, I will give you up to half my kingdom. She went out and said to her mother, What shall I ask for? The head of John the Baptist, she answered. At once, the girl hurried into the king with a request, I want you to give me right now the head of John the Baptist on a platter. The king was greatly distressed, but because of his oaths and his dinner guests, he did not want to refuse her. So he immediately sent an executioner with orders to bring John's head. The man went, beheaded John in the prison, and brought back his head on a platter. He presented it to the girl, and she gave it to her mother. On hearing of this, John's disciples came and took his body and laid it in a tomb. Wow. Wow. That right there is wow. So from verse 30 to verse uh, 44, um, we talk about Jesus feeding the 5,000. Um, so it says this. The apostles, the apostles gathered around Jesus and reported to him all they had done and taught. Then because, of, because so many people were coming and going that they did not even have a chance to eat, he said to them, come with me by yourselves to, be, to a quiet place and get some rest. So they went away by themselves in a boot to a solitary place. Well, so now verse 32, say, verse 32 says, So they went away with them by themselves in a boot to a solitary place. Well, wouldn't the solitary place be where Jesus, where Jesus went in, um, in Mark, in Mark chapter in Mark chapter, um, wouldn't that solitary place be where Jesus went in Mark, in Mark chapter one, uh, where he, Jesus went to pray is in Mark chapter one. We talked about Jesus went to pray in a solitary place. Well, uh, let's, uh, come and, uh, let's just, uh, read, uh, ahead. Verse 33. But many who saw them leaving recognized them and ran on foot from all the towns and got there ahead of them. When Jesus landed and saw a large crowd, he said, Compassion on them, because they were like sheep without a shepherd. So he began teaching them many things. By this time, it was late in the day. So his disciples came to him this is a remote place, they said, and it's already very late. Send the people away so they can go to the surrounding countryside and vill villages and buy themselves something to eat. And buy themselves something to eat. Verse 37. But he answered, you give them something to eat. They said to him, that would take eight months of a man's wages. Are we going to spend that much on bread and give it to them to eat? Verse 39, 38. How many loaves do you have? He asked. Go and see. When they found out, he, they, they said five and two fish. Verse 39. Then Jesus directed them to all to have all the people sit down in groups on the green grass. 
So they sat down in groups of hundreds and fifty and fifties, taking the five hundred, uh, taking the five loaves and the two fish, and looking up to heaven. He gave thanks, and and broke the loaves. Then he gave them to his disciples to set before the people. He also divided the two fish among them all. They all ate and were satisfied. And the this and this and the disciples picked up twelve basketfuls of broken pieces of bread and fish. Verse forty four. The number of the men of the men who had who had eaten was five thousand. Wow. That right there is just amazing. Well, from verse 45 to uh, verse to the end, which is verse 56, um, we talk about, um, we talk about, um, we talk about, um, yeah, so we talk about, um, Jesus walking on, walks on, on the water. So that's another thing why I, I incorporated the song, uh, Jesus in our worship session today. Because the song Jesus, and the chorus of that song, I'm going to go back to that song, and I'm just going to read what the chorus, what the chorus says in that song. Um, the chorus in that song says this. And the chorus in that song, Jesus says this. Who walks? Who walks on the waters? Who walks? On the waters, who speaks to the sea, who stands, who stands in the fire beside me? He, he roars like a lion. He bled as a lamb. He carries my healing in his hands. Jesus. So Jesus walks on the waters. Well, who walks on the waters? Jesus does. And that's what the chorus says in the song. Who walks on the waters? So they're wondering. Who is it? Who walks on the waters? Who speaks to the sea? Who stands in the fire beside me? He roars like a lion. He bled as the lamb. He carries my healing in his hands. Well, they're saying, well, they're wondering who it is. But then after, he carries my healing in his hands. Then they say, G then it says, Jesus. So then after, he carries, he carries my healing in his hands. Then they mention who it is. They mention it's Jesus that walks on the waters, that speaks to the sea, that stands in the fire beside me, that roars like a lion, that bled as a lamb, and that carries my healing in his hands. So... Um, so let's, uh, talk about, so let's read from verse 45, talk, um, talking about who, who walks, about Jesus walking, walks on the water, walking on the water, uh, verse 45, immediately, immediately Jesus made his disciples get into the boat and go on ahead of him to Bethesda, Bethesda, while he dismissed the crowd. After leaving them, he went up on the mountainside to pray. When evening came, the boat was in the middle of the lake, and he was alone on land. He saw the disciples. He saw the disciples straining at the oars because the wind was against them. About the fourth watch of the night, he went out to them, walking on the lake. When he, he was about to pass by them, but he, when he saw them, when they saw him walking on the lake, when they saw him walking on the lake, they thought he was a ghost. They cried out. They cried out. Verse 50. Because they all saw him and were terrified. Immediately, he spoke to them and said, Take courage. It is I. Don't be afraid. Verse 51. 
Then he climbed into the boat with them, and the wind died down. They were completely amazed, for they had not understood about the loaves. Their hearts were hard hardened. Their hearts were hard hardened. Verse 53. When they had crossed over, they landed in Gennesar. 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 Sets. Gennesar. And anchored there. Verse 54. As soon as they got out of the boats, people recognized Jesus. They ran throughout the whole, that whole region and carried the sick on mats to wherever they heard he was. Verse 56 is where we're going to end. And wherever he went into village, villages, towns, or countryside, they placed the sick in the marketplaces. They begged him to let them touch even to let them touch even the edge of their of his cloaks of his cloak. And all who touched him were healed. All who touched God and all who touched Jesus was healed. Wow. Just remember Sunday, um, uh, we're going to be looking at the book of Acts, Acts 2.38. Peter said to them, change your hearts and lives in the name of Jesus Christ. The name of Jesus Christ. Um, so, the devotions... So the series that we're so the devotion that we're gonna be doing on Saturdays is talking about um it's talking about well the Bible it's talking about it talks about the Bible it talks about the Bible it talks about the Bible it talks about this the Bible and tomorrow we're in day one talking about um we're in day one tomorrow and we're gonna be talking about the Bible is God's book. And let me ask you this question uh, before tomorrow. Why should we study the Bible? Why should we study the Bible? Why should we study why should we study this this book? This big book. Why should we study this? Why should we study the Bible? Why should we study the Bible? Um, so we're we'll be looking inside of all different kinds of books in, of the Bible. Uh, we'll be, and the sections we'll be covering in this is um, the Holy Bible, Holy Bible, and the Word of God. Um, so tomorrow we'll be looking inside the book of uh, Second. Pe we'll be looking into Second Peter one twenty one, Isaiah six three. Revelation 4, 8, and 2 Timothy 3, 16 through 17. Uh, we'll, be like looking at, we'll be looking into tomorrow. Um, so let's praise and worship today. Let's praise, let's continue to praise and worship today as we end today and come as you are. As we end today, come as you are. Because come out of sadness where from wherever you've been. I'm going to sing the song um, today because we're not going to end it with it tomorrow. So, we're not going to be ending in, in a song tomorrow. So, I'm just going to, we're going to end in, uh, so I'm just going to sing today. Come out of sadness from wherever you've been. Come broken hearted, let rescue begin. Come find your mercy, O oh sinner, come new. Earth has no sorrow that heaven can't heal. Earth has no sorrow that heaven can't heal. So lay down your burdens. Lay down your shame. All who are broken, lift up your face. Oh, wonder, come home. You're not too far. So lay down your hurts, lay down your hearts, come as you are. There's hope for the hopeless and all that who's, who've strayed. Come sit at the table, come taste at the grace. There's rest for the weary, all that endures. Earth has no sorrow that heaven can cure. So lay down your burdens, 
Lay down your shade. All who are broken, lift up your face. Oh, wonder, come home. You're not too far. So lay down your hurts. Lay down your hearts. Come as you are. Come as you are. Fall in his arms. Come as you are. There's joy for the morning. Oh, sinner, be still. Earth has no sorrow that heaven can't heal. Earth has no sorrow that heaven can't heal. So lay down your burdens. Lay down your shame. All who are broken, lift up your face. Oh, wanderer, come home. You're not too far. So lay down your hurts. Lay down your hearts. Come as you are. So lay down your burdens. Lay down your shame. All who are broken, lift up your face. Oh, wonder, come home. You're not too far. So lay down your hurts. Lay down your hearts. Come as you are. 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 Amen. Well, the song we're we'll be doing on Sunday is Cornerstone. This is song Cornerstone. The song Chainbreaker. And the song I just sang, Come As You Are. And then we're going to do also be doing the songs. Um, then we're also be doing the songs. Um, uh, nope, nope, not that. Uh, then we're also be doing the songs. Here I am to worship our God, victory in Jesus, oceans where my feet may fail. This I believe that we just did um, today, actually. This I believe, it's not the creed, it's just this I believe. Um, I'm trying to figure something out because it looks like the same, but kind of different. Um, yeah, so this is, so it's, this I believe the creed that we did today. So what we're we'll going to be doing is this I believe. It's, looks Yeah, it's, it's the same. Yeah, it's the same, except the chorus. Except, no, the bridge is different. Yeah, the bridge is different. And then there's an ending, and then, yeah, it's, it's just different wording. Um, and just a different format, but. So we're doing this, I believe. Um, then we're going to go and do, this is amazing grace. Who breaks the power of sin and darkness? Um, reckless love. Before I spoke a word. You are my king, amazing love. I'm forgiven. Because you were forsaken, I'm accepted, you were condemned, I'm alive and well, your spirit is within me, because you died and rose again. Then we're going to do the song, Sea of Victory. My, no weapon may be formed, but it won't prosper. When the darkness fails, it won't prevail. Cause the God I serve knows only how to triumph My God will never fail Oh my God will never fail I'm gonna see a victory Then I'm gonna do the song Waymaker You, you are here Moving in a mist I worship you I worship you you are here, working in this place. I worship you. I worship you. 
You are here, working in this place. I worship you. I worship you. You are way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. You are way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. So we're going to do, um, yeah, so, that, so that's a, the song. It's ocean. This, actually, I'm actually just going to get rid of um, our God, victory in Jesus, and here I am to worship. So we're only going to do Come As You Are, Chain Breaker, um, Cornerstone, Oceans, This I Believe, This Is Amazing Grace, Reckless Love, You Are My King, Sea of Victory, and Waymaker. In that order. So... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's our rocks. I will see you on Sunday as we come together to worship our Lord and Savior Jesus on Sunday. Um, but I'll let you know if any more changes happen because I may. No, nah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if there will be any more changes, but I will let you know tomorrow if there's any more changes. I may cut. I might take oceans out. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna take oceans out. So yeah. So only. Uh, so the order will be Come As You Are, Chain Breaker, um, Cornerstone, This I Believe, This Is Amazing Grace, Reckless Love, You Are My King, Amazing Love, Sea of Victory, Waymaker, and I think there's, and I believe there's a few more songs I'm, I need to add. Um, because we're going to do a song that goes along with our verse um, from Acts. There's a song that goes along with our devotion that we're, we're going to be doing. Um, Actually, two songs that goes along with our devotion that we'll be doing. So, yeah. So, I will see you guys back here tomorrow for the song "Strong Enough" by Matthew West. And then, if you guys haven't seen my videos previously, I'm gonna let you know. Next week. Next week. Wow. The month is over on like. Wow, April is over, like, um, next Thursday is the end of April? So next Thursday is the end of April. Wow. No. Yeah, next Thursday is the end of April. So that means next Friday, we start with our new series, our new month. The month of May. And so we're, now we're going to be combining, combining two artists together. So Fridays we're gonna do one artist. Saturdays we're gonna do another artist. So for Fridays we're doing Matt Mayer. For Saturdays we're doing um, Casting Crowns for the month of May. Yay! All well, right, now I'm in the middle of making the uh, trying to get everything together for May. I've been doing this since wow. The first of April, trying to get everything together for May. May is like a really long month. Like we have 31 days. We have one, two, three, four. We have five Sundays. We have one, two, three, four, five. Five Saturdays. One, one, two, three, four, five, and five Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. So I'm trying to get everything together for Fridays, Saturdays, Sundays. Who cares about the uh? And the quarantine quiet times, I just add, like, the night before, so. So, uh, yeah, so quarantine quiet times, I just add the day of, so. So, so I'm not getting, so I'm not getting them together, but I'm getting the rest together, so. Tar Rocks, I will see you tomorrow for Strong Enough by Matthew West. And our, and we're have our, uh, devotion session. Talking about, um, it's not gonna be, it's not gonna be, the video won't be called Quarantine Quiet Time. It, because we are not doing no quarantine quiet time because it's Saturday and our quarantine quiet times are Monday through Friday. So the video with our devotion tomorrow is going to be called Saturday, April 25th. I'm right, 25th. I believe I'm right. Uh, yeah, 25th. 2020 devotion. Devotion. Not quarantine quiet time devotion session. It's going to be called Devo. Shut devotion. So, so, so uh, you guys join me tomorrow for uh, strong enough, and then our devotion as we talk about 
why study the Bible? Why should we study the Bible? So, uh, so I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Peace out. Have a great night. And I will see you tomorrow. Guitar Rocks. Thank you. Come out of sadness from wherever you've been. Come broken hearted. Let rescue begin. Come find your mercy. O sinner, come kneel. Earth has no sorrow that's heaven can't heal. Earth has no sorrow that's heaven can't heal.